Okay, Broncos were the Chargers. We got the Chargers minus four and a half on this one. The total is 45 and a half. Tell me what you like. Hey, everybody, if you haven't checked out FanDuel Sportsbook yet, do it. They're offering all new accounts up to a thousand bucks in a no sweat first bet. All you got to do is check out the description in this video and click on the link. Well, this is quite the coaching matchup between uh, Nathaniel Hackett and Brandon Staley. Between the two of them, I, I mean, they might be punting on second and third down. Who knows? Uh, these guys have been a, an adventure all year. Um, the problem for Nathaniel Hackett, though, is uh, he doesn't have uh, Justin Herbert or Austin Eckler or uh, some of the talent that uh, the Chargers have. Denver's really banged up here. Um, Randy Gregory's out. They lost Javante Williams for the rest of the year. Garrett Bowles and Ronald Darby on the IR. And that's just a few of the names. I mean, the list is really long for, for injuries for Denver. Um, and then Russell Wilson, shoulder injury. I mean, he, he had a procedure this week. Um, he hasn't played very well. So that news came out that he's been dealing with a sore shoulders. You know, might be some, some might think it's an excuse, but it does make a little bit of sense. Um, like I said about Notre Dame and the players not buying into the coach, I'd have to think that Denver's players are really not very happy with Nathaniel Hackett. In fact, some of them have outright said so and we, we've seen them outbursts on the sidelines uh, that one wide receiver that was wide open in the end zone against the Colts and didn't get a look was smashing his helmet and pretty upset um, I'm gonna have to go with the Chargers here uh, even though their coach isn't much better they're just healthier more talented at home uh, better quarterback and, and I will say about Russell Wilson one thing I noticed about him is have you noticed anything different about the way he looks, Sally? No, I haven't. Because <laughs> I couldn't, I could not pay myself to watch the last game that he was in, so no, haven't really looked at him because it's really hard to watch that last Broncos game. Go ahead. He looks to me like he's put on a little bit of weight, and I, nobody's yeah. talking about it, but he looks chubby. Well, that's kind of rude. I mean, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I, I, I mean, I know, but. You know, are we going to bet on him if he's out of shape? He's not playing very well. I don't know. Well, and then one thing to look at is uh, who's his backup quarterback. And I believe it's that guy uh, from Boise State. Ripon is his name from Boise State, who's not a bad kid. But if Russell isn't going to make it through the whole game, I mean, is this someone who could really get some work done because no one's got a book on him or anything like that? Um so I would definitely be looking into that as well. But I agree with you. I think the Chargers are the play here. I'm even seeing fives out there now. Um, so we want to watch out for that. So that's the pick. Chargers minus the four and a half with the chubby Russell Wilson. <laughs> that hurts. It hurts to say it that way. Um, uh, don't forget, head over to picksandparlays.net. Use that promo code quarter. It'll save you 25% off the site. Um, look for Jesse, the Iceman Shoal, his premium plays. That's where we keep them. It's really great value if you want some premium picks in your pocket for the weekend. Also, don't forget, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications. We're on every Monday through Friday at 3 p.m. Eastern. Thanks so much for stopping by the Power Hour, Jesse. We'll see you next week. See you next week.